Thank you for joining us tonight, folks. Tonight I have the pleasure of interviewing someone who needs no introduction. They are a musician, an actor, a veteran. I'm a surgeon, goddammit. Oh, and yes, of course, a surgeon as well. Now, I'd like to begin by asking, how do you go about your artistic process? Mike, our keyboard player, he will come up with an idea, and then he'll bring it to me. And me and him will sit down and kind of stew on it and work on it for a little while, and then we'll take it to Nate. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but can I offer you some candy? We'll take it to Stefan there. Oh, where are you? Oh, you're quite welcome. As a musician, I'm sure you have several songs that you love, lyrics you identify with and love as well. But what are your least favorite musical lyrics? It's going down, down, Sugar, we're going down swinging. That really is a dreadful song. As an actor, what would you say your most embarrassing moment has been on screen? That's the right answer, Johnny. You know, it's always smart to have the right answers like that. Now, you take it easy. I got this thing all figured out. God damn it. What about your most successful moment? Ho, ho, ho! I'm Wyoming Steve Gibson! It's a lie! I'm Wyoming Steve Gibson! We have here a blooper from your most recent film. Let's take a look. Oh, son of a bit, son of a bit, son of a bit, 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 a gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say, uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a hard one to explain. For God's sake. Moving on, can you regale us with one of your war stories as a pilot in Japan during World War II? Perhaps something you saw while in the air? I just happen to remember Bentley. He flew one over there and never came up, never came back, never showed up. The son of a bitch drowned. <laughs> Uh, and to think one day you'd be president. Now, I have a rather sensitive question to ask. It's, uh... You bastard, why don't you say it? Well, recently you lost one of your good friends, uh, Billy Mays. How did you feel after hearing about his death? Horny? Hmm, odd. But, whatever. Tell me, if you could be granted one wish in the world, what would it be? Hard on the just won't quit. Well, I don't think anybody would blame you for wishing for that. I hear you're quite the humorist. Would you mind telling us a joke? Why, sure, Joel. How about the king's arms? Where are the king's arms? Around the queen's ass. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> Tell me, where do you see yourself in the future? <laughs> well, that seems a bit harsh, but at least you're not sugarcoating it. Join us next time when I interview an up-and-coming actress who just can't hit her mark. They all say he's a Brooklyn cowboy, and I believe them. Oh, but Maxie, oh, you, you have to... Don't you ever...